Hello, if you're looking for some tips on how to paint new plaster walls, then you're in the right place because this is the no nonsense guide to painting fresh plaster. And I'm also going to share the truth about mist coats, so stick around. So the first really important thing you need to do when you're painting fresh plaster is make sure your walls are completely dry. Now you'll be able to tell whether or not they're dry because they'll go a light pink shade, whereas when they're still drying out and they're still damp, there may still be dark, wet, um, pink patches. So watch for that. Now if you paint them before they are fully dry, then they can cause, that can cause your paint to actually flake because it traps the moisture inside there. So please, please don't do that. You have to be patient. It can take anywhere from a day to even a week, um, depending on your location, on how thick the plaster is and the weather and so on. We've been very lucky down here, it's super hot at the moment, so it dried in just over a day, but it can take longer. And resist the urge to try and speed up the process using heaters and things, because that can actually cause your plaster to crack, which is gonna cause you all manner of troubles. So this one's one of those ones you just gotta kinda hang around for, unfortunately. And don't forget to ventilate during the process because that's going to make sure that all that moisture goes outside rather than hanging around in your home. Next up, you need the right tools, of course. So you'll need a paint tray, a roller, a paintbrush. And if you need to cut in around skirting boards, doors and windows and so on, then some decorator's tape is pretty useful too. And some cling film can come in handy. This is useful for covering your brushes or your roller if you're going for a tea break and you don't want that paint to dry out. And of course, you'll need some paint, but we'll get to that in a minute. One other thing that you might need is a clean cloth just to give your plaster a dust off before you start painting. Now, if you are painting new plaster, you shouldn't need to sand it because it should be if your plaster has done a good job ready to go. Now, this is where it gets interesting because your next step, if you're a traditionalist, is then to put on your mist coat. And a mist coat is basically just a watered down coat of normal emulsion and the thinking behind this is that new plaster is quite thirsty so by adding some water into your first mix that you add on you're basically kind of feeding that plaster and stopping yourself from getting a flaky finish because if you put your paint straight on then it'll suck all that moisture out of it and then your paint will start to flake off. Now if you're a DIY painter in particular there's a lot of things not to like about mist coats and I can speak from experience here that they can end up resulting in a lot of messing around because it can be quite hard to get a consistent mixture between your paint and your water. Imagine you're trying to paint a really big room and you're keeping having to mix up and keeping applying that on and that means that you also get an inconsistent finish. So you might find that you've got some patches that are absolutely perfect and then other patches that are really thick paint and other patches that are just water and then you find yourself having to go over them again and again and again until you try to eventually reach that perfect finish. But really, it's a lot of faffing around and not something that I sign up to if I don't have to. So the really great news is that if you want fast, easy results when you're painting fresh plaster, these days you actually don't have to do a mist coat. And not everyone even knows this, but there's new products on the market, like this bare plaster paint from Screwfix, which is what we use, no affiliation with them though, and there are other products on the market that you can basically paint. They're designed to be painted straight onto bare plaster and they actually dry within three hours. So you can even put a second coat on in the same day. So they do away with all that faffing around with the mist coats. So you can even use these as your finished paint as well. So if you're painting a room white, a couple of coats of this will be job done. So it definitely provides you with a really quick, easy way of getting your walls painted. But rather than me trying to convince you anymore how good this paint is by telling you, let me show you and I'll give you a few tips for getting it onto the wall as well. So first up you want to give your paint a little bit of a stir just to make sure there's no lumps or bumps in it before you pour it out. So just find anything you've got handy that's clean. I've got a bit of old pipe here. Then you need to pour some in your paint tray of course. Hopefully not spilling it, although this is pretty heavy. And you can just use your brush to clean up any paint that you might have spilt over the edge. So first up, you can use your paint brush to just cut in around the edges because obviously it would be difficult to roll it all the way to the edges. So that makes it much easier to then roll the rest of it. Some nice coverage on your roller, make sure obviously the paint's not covered so much that it's dripping off but make sure you also don't have too little and let's get going. So now it's simply a case of getting the paint onto the walls. Now some people like to paint in a V shape because they say it's easier to blend. I would just try and find what works for you, there's no hard and fast rules. Try to resist pushing too hard on the roller and let the roller do the work for itself because that will actually give you more even coverage. So 
So that's just one roller's worth and a few seconds of my time and that's the kind of coverage we've got already. So that's it, happy painting. I hope that you found this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone else who you think might like it as well. And if you have any of your own painting tips, feel free to add them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please come back soon and do subscribe if you like handy home hints and tips and all that kind of stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.